The last part of the space catch is called the Big Dipper. This is the hardest part of this drill, and it's really the, the most fun, but you got to be very careful when you do this particular type of drill. Now, let's get right into it. I'm going to take the ball, and as you well know, on the space catch, which we just did, we just did this. Now, we're going to take the ball. I'm going to throw the ball up in the air. I'm going to go between my legs and catch the ball from behind. Now, that is a real difficult drill. Now, you got to move. When you throw that basketball up, you got to see where it is, and then you got to move under it, see? Because you got to get enough space. you got to get enough space from your back down to your posterior to get out of the way. Or the ball will hit your back, it'll hit your behind, and you don't want that. You want just enough space where you can catch that ball. So, we're going to take this ball like this, we're going to throw it up, and we're going to catch it like that. Now, when you put your hands through, when you put your hands through, be very careful because that ball is going to come down and you don't want it to hit your thumb. So when you get your hands through, make sure they're flat. Make sure your hands are flat, just like this. You want your hands to go through like this, not like this, but flat, just like that. You want to have that pocket. So when the ball comes down, you're catching it just like that. catch it just like that. Now, that is called the Big Dipper. It's a very difficult drill, but it's a great coordination drill because you got to move forward, you got to move backwards, you got to know where you are, you got to know where the ball is. Hey, it's a fun drill to do. Put that into your repertoire of ball handling.